block with a five. Oh, I'm gonna have to block with, I guess, the 15. Might as well use this now. I completely forgot he's at 30k. I'm so glad I checked. The starter deck blue leader Vegeta is probably one of the most slept on, underutilized best leaders of set one, and it's not because of his dashing good looks. It's because of his insane ability upon awakening, where if you have a hand size of seven or fewer, you can swing with an attack power of 35k, which I don't know if you know this, is an insane amount of battle power, enough to force out any opposing super combos and quite literally sweep your opponents while also dumping their hands. The deck that I think works really well with set one Vegeta is this one that has a ton of low cost cards that have high value effects ranging from bottom decking opposing self awakeners like Roshi to drawing from your deck or even the whole final hope slash peel off engine which is absolutely busted. On top of that you have your self awakeners and low cost high attack cards ranging from trucks all the way up to Gohan. But again this all depends on hand sizes so my rule of thumb is always keep your higher combos and super combos on hand and try to get rid of any extra cards and lower combo cards when you can. And finally, a nice little tech card to round this deck off is Sinister Sickle. But don't take my word for it. Check out this gameplay featuring my King of the Blue Vegeta deck. Vegeta versus Beerus, which is honestly a great matchup considering, you know, God of Destruction, new oncoming God of Destruction. Uh, honestly, I think this is a good hand. I'll keep it. Mainly because we're starting off with the Zamasu that could potentially... Um, with their like self awakeners back on bottom deck. Hmm. I'm gonna get rid of this one though. I'll just end turn here. Really, not much we can do since we're going first. We have our trunks to bounce any of their five costs, being their own, what's it called? Double striker or even Beerus, right? In this situation, like, I'm gonna have to just take it and hope they don't knock out a super combo but my luck watch it's gonna be super no it's not that's a trunks we'll take it that's a-okay interesting all right let's attack you here a nice little quick end they're gonna have three meaning this trunks could definitely be the play i don't I could just get a, a bunch of damage off real quick when attacking. At the end of the turn, it goes in the bottom of my deck. They can't even do anything. It's just free damage real quick. Or we can save it. Because hmm. with this, we're going to be baiting out probably their three cost. Son Goku, the one that's a self-awakener and pretty much deletes 20k on the board. I think this is probably best, right? Potentially do damage, get rid of a combo in their hand, and at the same time, adding a life from ours. Not a bad deal. I'll take it. They're at six. See what they do. But if they do go the route of the three costs, they're wasting their energy marker. I don't know if you do that, actually. We'll take this. Okay. That sucks. I kind of don't want to lose that card. Right, they're using a card. Minus 15. Nice. I mean, if it's just them wasting, I think we're okay here. We can go... I can charge here. I can do a couple options. This puts them back in my hand, right? Two or less. Return back to the owner's hand. I actually like that option a lot. We'll put you out here. I'll attack. I think it's kind of the best option here. We'll take it. I'm going to attack with you. We'll also bring this guy back into I mean not <laughs> make the mistake there's so many times where I accidentally flick the card I want to return to my hand I'm sure you guys can uh, like relate to that and then accidentally give them the power uh, it's just it's silly it goes who do you want to boost first and then who do you want to send back to your hand take your time when choosing those selections 
All right, confirm. There we go. We're at 35. Pretty decent. There we go. He's at four. I'm at five, meaning he's going to have to bring me down a bit. We'll go for these next. Or we can guarantee to waste a bunch of cards from his hand. I think I think I'm gonna want to go Gohan for the 35k. Right? I, I feel like that's the only option here. So with playing against Beerus, I just don't want things on the board for him to like neg with his ability or anything like that. I mean that's fine, we'll take that. Oof, that would have been great, damn. He's at 30. The question now becomes, do I try to bounce this card back to his hand? What does this do? The bottom of their deck for two of them. Hmm. That's tough. I could just bounce him. He does have a 10k combo if I do. But then it gets rid of like... Yeah, I think that's probably best. Who do I want to... I think we're just going to charge here, right? It makes most sense. Do that. We'll draw. Alright, how many cards do I have in my hand? If it's under 7, we get the proc or ability. It's right at 7. Let's do it. There we go, we're at 35. DP takes this. So I got a couple options here. I can just go crazy face right now, or I can send this back to his hand. Personally, I think I want to go aggressive, right? I got a, I got pretty decent combo power in my hand. I could play these two. Let's see it. For 30, let's see. I mean, you, you, I think you combo out of this. I don't know if you just take this. There's one. Okay, cool. And then we'll hit him with another 30 real quick. I'm not gonna draw, I'm just gonna do this straight up. There we go, 30. And then this is what I have in my hand. Ooh, they wasted their, oh, that's nice. That's really good. They wasted their energy marker right there. So now there's their heart stuck at a like only playing what? Potentially crit Gohan. Who else? What are there? Four Frieza. Um Yeah, there's really not too many options. You can't play your double striker. And look what they had. They had a three drop. Okay. They use their searcher? Yeah, that makes sense. Here comes the double striker incoming. Calling it, I mean, maybe they whiff and they don't get it. Ooh, Ooh that's a whiff if I've ever seen one. <laughs> I mean, maybe they already have it in hand and they're just going for draw potential. Okay, there's the minus. Nice, we like that. He's attacking. I'll take it, honestly. Okay. Okay. Played that. Again, they might already have it in their hand, so I have to play around that. Um I could defend this. When attacking, choose up to one of your No, it doesn't matter. He's gonna get it regardless. 
Oh, he didn't attack. Oh, okay. That's weird. Do this. Activate here. Attack right into him. See what we draw into. We got into a trunks. Okay. Yes, they are burning cards right now. I think I'm going to want to use this Gallic Gun defensively, to be honest. That's the play here. I'll play you. Play this here. A nice draw. Ooh. Oh, man. Again, I think it's just better if we do this instead. Force out some more combos from his hand. He takes it. He takes it. Yeah, this is going to be better for us next turn for sure. All right, let's see. We have this for defense. Also two super combos. And then this is what we want to play next turn. There's the minus 10. Mm -hmm. I think we have to block that, don't we? Block with a 10, though? Do I just want to block with a 5? Oh, I'm going to have to block with, I guess, the 15. Might as well use this now. I completely forgot he's at 30k. I'm so glad I checked. All right, looks like this is coming in handy right now. <laughs> Here we go, and we get a draw, right? Nice, nice. As long as we survive this, we win. Yeah, as long as we survive this, we win next round. Oh, I see what they're doing. Okay, okay. Take this. An attack with you. And block with you. Two, two, five. Hmm. I think that's pretty solid, honestly. Yeah, I'm gonna block here. Check this out. I think we play the Goten to bounce one of his. And when he doesn't block. Yeah, check this out. Hmm, he really wants to get us down. We have super combos. I think we're okay to take this. Well. How many hands? We're at six. Yep, let's do this. Let's see if I can get this correctly. If I play him... bring him I bring him to attack into him um yeah I think we're gonna just draw I'm gonna bounce you let's see if they defend they don't defend so we're gonna boost you and we're going to bounce you. We're going to feed you. We're at 45. I don't know if I want to go 55. Oh, 45, 45. I, I think that's pretty good right here. We'll just go 45. And this is going to be our final play if we if we can. Okay, there's one of his blockers. I feel like he needs another one. There we go. Okay, we're wasting him. See what we draw into? Not a great card to draw into. Fifty-five. Fifty-five. I think so, right? Because he could have. Yeah, I think this is what we need to do. He takes it. I think I might have played that wrong. I'm. I maybe I should have gone the forty-five. 
Because if he draws into a super combo here, we're kind of screwed. But I'm just going to full send. Hoping he doesn't have it. And I'm comboing by <laughs> my only two. Uh, we could honestly lose this. It would really suck, but I think there's one. Okay. Hey, yo. Hold up. Wait a minute now. Let's go. The full commit. I love it. And that's why I really feel like Vegeta is probably the best. It's just you have so many options. And, and having that 35 right here, this 35k battle power, especially in set one, the meta, where it's like you have to dish out damage as much as possible, as fast as possible. Yeah, he's definitely sitting on top. That's for sure.